And who among us doesn't love filling holes? Can't remember the last word spoken. I got some mail I didn't open. It's an unread letter die. So you can get a speeding ticket for going too slow. Uh, Officer Douche. That's Officer Douche. Welcome in. Thanks for stopping by on, on you know, such short notice once again. Um, got a lot of cold beer. A lot of cold beer. Um, I'd appreciate your assistance. Not that I need a lot of help, but I appreciate your assistance with uh, maybe maybe cracking a, cracking a beer or two open, if you don't mind. We're going to do a little something I like to call a douche-a-sode. Um, and that, you know, it's different, all, it's different all the time, but I think in this specific douche episode, I'm gonna show some, some vinyl records. Some of them are LPs. One of them is not an LP. Uh, if you need a snack, I know that um, Sean, I don't know what his channel name is currently, he, he doesn't, like he prefers no gluten. So I, I got him some prepared shredded squid. I went with, the, I went with the, the spicy because, you know, we're all grown-ups here, right? Right? So I'm gonna show some, some music on physical media and say almost nothing, but I'll show them to you. And then that'll be over. Um, then we'll have another beer. And we'll, you know, and we'll laugh about it. We'll be like, can you believe that you just did that? <laughs> this uh, first one, this is a duo. They're, they're now based in, in Lawrence, Kansas, of all places. Just noticing some weird damage on it. Anyway, yeah, duo, second LP. We go by the name Sweeping Promises. And the album is Good Living is Coming for You. I like that, uh, I like that album cover. Yeah, so kind of punk or post-punk. Post-punk is probably more accurate with some elements of new wave. Um, Maybe you say lo-fi post-punk. Maybe that's what I would say. So female vocals, uh, there are some synths in, in some kind, maybe somewhat prevalent synths. There's a little bit of horns involved. Um, yeah, and it is pretty, I, I'd say it's pretty lo-fi. I, I see people say this is on Sub Pop. I don't see Sub Pop anywhere on this on this album. Maybe maybe they maybe Sub Pop's putting out the cassette, the highly coveted cassette version of this. I'm not sure because um, I don't see anything. At any rate, they're, they're theoretically on Sub Pop now. Um, yeah, I like this more and more every time I listen to it. Um, yeah, this is the printed inner sleeve. If you think you're in the mood for something uh, something like this, um, I definitely recommend checking it out. This is on some sort of fancy, this is some fancy pants, somewhat fancy pants vinyl here. Yeah. Good living is coming for you. The artist is called Sweeping Promises.
Next, this is a um, new record from, a, we'll call it a shoegaze band. Um, I think based in Los Angeles, but maybe previously in San Francisco or some in San Francisco, some in California. This is a shoegaze band from California. This is their seventh LP since I think 2001. They're called Field, or <laughs> Film School, and the album is called Field. Back. Um, has a, has an insert. Yeah, so like I said, I think seventh, it might be six, six or seventh LP since 2001. They've been together since the late 90s, but they've gone through a number of lineup changes and shifts in style. This is kind of more creation, like creation records influence shoegaze. Um, 4AD has male and female dueling vocals. Uh, but throughout the album, there, there are some, some shifts in style. It's not just straight shoegaze all the way through. Um, this one is on something. It's on, it's on green. Anyway, film school. I like this one quite a bit. Um, as this goes up, I think it just came out last week. Film school, field. This is um, from a duo out of Baja, California that called Laurel Meets the Obsolete. And the album is called Datsura, I don't know, Datura, I guess. I can't speak um, Spanish or English for that matter. Um, Laurel Meets the Obsolete. I think I'm going to say this wrong at some point. If I haven't already, I probably already said it wrong. Earlier incarnations more in the psychedelic rock vein. Here, this is more of a dark, electronic kind of uh, kind of a moody dream pop. There's some elements of like industrial music here and there. Um, just very dense, jarring dream pop, Spanish vocals. So Laurel is the vocalist. You know, a lot of synths. Yeah. This one is not on Delicious Black Vinyl. I'm gonna show, I kinda like the label. Laurel, Laurel meets the obsolete. Yeah, this is um, this is one. It's it's very dense. There's a lot going on. I don't know. I don't know if it, it would it would immediately grab a lot of people. I I had to kind of sit with it a little bit. It's not um, it's not a casual listen. I guess I would say it's on Sonic Cathedral Records. Laurel meets the obsolete. The Tura.
Next up, this is a reissue, 25th anniversary reissue. I think this came out in 1998 in Australia and 1999 in the United States, but it might have been 1998 in both or 1999 in both. Um, <laughs> this is the first time on vinyl, Melbourne, Melbourne group, The Lucksmiths. This is uh, actually like a compilation of singles Singles and B-sides and, and like compilation tracks from, from early, I think, I think probably all from around 1998. Not 100% sure on that. I guess it says a bunch of songs from 1998. So I'm going to go with 1998. <laughs> um, Happy Secret is what it's called. This is the first release from the Luxmas that I had on, on CD in either 98 or 99. Whenever it came out is when I got it. Um, yeah, so I have a, I have a fondness and some nostalgia for this for this record. There's the printer sleeve. A lot of words. So you know it's it's indie pop out of Melbourne. Shortly after this, I think maybe the year, a year later or so, they toured in Europe, opening for Bell and Sebastian. This is something where if you don't know the Luxmas uh, and, and you like Bell and Sebastian, this is worth, it's worth checking out the Luxmas if you, I, I, I imagine you probably already have, but. Um, yeah, there's a number of really, like, really great songs. I think, as a result of it being kind of a collection, I don't think it's probably uh, plays as good as an album. It does have, just have some excellent songs on it. I, li I love Untidy Towns. There's a song, Edward Sandwich Hand, that's also really good. I think that's named after, or it's kind of a play on that, that famous, that famous movie, um, like Edward Penis Hands. So it's Edward Sandwich Hand, just the play on that. Um, anyway, so laid back pop, chamber pop, whatever, indie pop in the vein, in the vein, in the neighborhood of, of early Bell and Sebastian, we'll say. The Luxmiths, Happy Secret. This is on the Lost and Lonesome Recording Company and I think a joint release with, also with Matinee. Next, I'm gonna show a seven inch record. This is a 45. I had this for a little while now. I kind of thought they were going to release a, a full length album sometime this year, but I feel like now that we've come this far, it's probably not gonna happen until next year. So this is the San Francisco group I talked about multiple times before called Chime School. This is a single called Coming to Your Town backed with Love You More. Coming to Your Town is uh, an original song recorded when um, Andy, the, who is basically Chime School, the singer, vocalist, um, he had COVID, so this, he recorded this, wrote and recorded this, song, recorded this song while having COVID. The B-side, Love You More, is a uh, their take on the Buzzcocks song, Love You More, which is from, 19, from 1978. And this is kind of, a, kind of a jangly, kind of a jangle pop take on the track, Love You More. Mine is just on delicious black vinyl. Kind of, kind of cool um, labels, photography. Anyway, 
looking forward to the, the second LP. I, I suspect that'll be in early next year. Chime School, coming to your town. <laughs>